Welcome everybody. I hope that this session is useful for you. Coming back to a designated area migration agreement or a DHARMA, it's something that lets employers in regional Australia sponsor skilled and semi-skilled overseas workers for positions that they are able, unable to fill with local workers. It's typically commenced with a municipal council and employer representative body association. A couple of things to note about the Northern Territory Dharma Initiative. Firstly, it is a, a pathway to permanent residence for NT Dharma visa holders, including transitional arrangements for existing visa holders. And that's quite a, very, a big positive because many, many migrants want a pathway to permanent residence. Sometimes one of the biggest challenges you have in migration, and this is something that I've got particular expertise in, is matching a person's resume with the occupations that are available on the current list. And bear in mind that these lists are actually changing, you know, very often. Um, there are, and there are multiple lists um, across the migration space, different occupational lists for 482 visas, permanent residence visas. And as you can see, there's even different occupational lists for different parts of Australia. So this list, as I, as I said before, this focuses on the Northern Territory. And now we go down a little bit further and you'll see that there is actually occupation of crowd controller. <laughs> Once again, who would have thought, I don't know what exactly it means by crowd controller, whether it's referring to a, a bouncer or a security guard or whether there's any difference, but that's once again a level four skill. And then you come up to another level, higher level there with diver. And then once again, early childhood pre-primary school teacher. Now pre-primary school teacher is a lot different to what we had before, which was a childcare worker. And what dot point one there is really referring to is um, performance-based commissions. I have one client who has a large portion, probably 50% of his salary is on performance-based commissions, but that can't be included in, um, in their actual wage for the purposes of obtaining the visa. So you need to provide the workers if you've got an Australian in the job, Australian payers, workers pay slip, a comparison of the duties, and then you'll need to also, if the applicant doesn't employ, that is the sponsor doesn't employ a comparable Australian, then you need to explain how the overseas workers' wages are determined and there's some factors there that you can go through. Are there any other dharmas? Not at the moment. However, Regional Development Association of Arana, which covers central New South Wales, as per the red section on that map, and Warrnambool City Council in Victoria and the Cairns Chamber of Commerce are all imminent dharmas, apparently. So the red area for Arana includes Burke, Cobar, Canamble, Gilgandra, Mudgee, Narrabine, Walgut, Warren, Warren Bungles and Wellington. The terms of these imminent dharmas are not yet settled, but negotiations are well advanced and could be resolved in a matter of weeks or a few months at most. Mm -hmm.